My name is Jerry Robinson. I'm demonstrating paleosomatic body work. <clears throat> First, we kind of relax the body and put it in this position so that the lumbar is supported and the sacrum is kind of falling off the, 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 the highest part of the pillows so that when we sit, if we sit, <clears throat> on the sacrum, it'll put traction into the lumbar and be expanding the uh, sacroiliac joint and hip joints all at the same time just by, by sitting. This is the deepest work we'll do today. <clears throat> the rest is uh, not as deep. So I like to support the body in this way with the uh, ankles and the pillow uh, and give a little shake and just see where they fall. The body gets used to me touching it. <clears throat> I stay in touch with the body and if I'm a little clumsy that's okay because we want to get the body used to me fussing around until it feels right. So I'm just going to give a little push here just to see how she feels. Tell me anytime, if, again, if you don't like what we're doing. Yeah. Again, the communication is like it, don't like it. Um, higher or lower, harder, lighter, and give a hurt sound if, if it hurts, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And bring your right arm along your body. And you always face the arm that's up. This is, makes it easy for the neck. <clears throat> One thing I like to do is I like to get the body used to me touching it and just, you know, maybe the hair and where the hair goes and, you know, just playing around here. Make sure we don't put my knee on her hand. Feel how the sacrum feels in general. She's very loose and soft, very easy, very healthy. Okay, now I would tend to go on the other side, which I'll do. Now sometimes when I'm making the transition, I'll do clumsy transition. So the body gets used to me fussing around, as I said, to finding what feels good, what feels right. Um, and one thing I do with my hands is I map the body, feeling for the bones. Once I find one bone, since I'm a body worker of 35 years, I pretty much know where everything else is if I just find one promontory. So she's really soft. So um, let's see. Okay, the simplest thing you can do with your friend, clients, buddy, whatever, is hang out. Maybe you have a cup of tea here and you're talking about whatever you're talking about, life and things. You can just lean on. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. So you're hanging out, talking with your friend. You're leaning on them. You can practice rolling forward and back a little bit. Now here's the sacrum. This can take tons of pressure. Meanwhile, I'm getting a nice stretch of my um, I'm getting a nice stretch over the body. And I could be here all day stretching my back, having fun. Meanwhile, she's just relaxing and getting the compression or the expansion. It's not really a compression, it's, a com it's an expansion. I'm working on her arm a bit here, just leaning on it as a support. So first lean would be into the safest area, the most dense area, which would be the sacrum. And then you can switch to, you can switch by either switching to the lumbar. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Little hard to breathe. Okay, in terms of breathing, Breathe as best as you can. And if you feel like you're being suffocated, say something, okay? Because mm -hmm. some people feel crushed, but you're being expanded inwards, actually. Everything else is expanding out from the point of pressure. So um, you can transfer from the uh, lumbar, I mean, from the sacrum to the lumbar, just by rolling onto it. Did you feel your back go just now? Felt like there's some movement in your back. Now I'm going to do a test for the rib cage, just to see how she, she likes it. You like it? You okay? That's good. So, okay. so basically, this is opening up your heart chakra ribs, everything, mm -hmm. lumbar. Mm -hmm. And while you're talking with your dear friend that you love and you've been part of your family or part of your clientele family for years, you know, you can, you know, say, you know, say hi, how are you doing, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make more contact with your hands. Um, head work, whatever. But basically all I'm doing 
is just leaning in and she's trying you know, she's learning how to breathe or whatever with this is mm. it, you doing okay good yeah all right and then i can give more pressure roll up and down now it's infinite what i could do in this position i could be here 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 she's pretty athletic i think i could do this she didn't scream any bad don't like it noises and yeah turn your head as often as you want but usually it's better for the neck if you just turn it where you're looking, where, where the arm is up. How are you doing? What's happening? Good, yeah, I just kind of like having my neck straight when you were right there. You want your head and neck straight? I mean, when you were putting weight on the upper spine, mm -hmm. I, I, I liked it straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, see, I've got to keep talking with people. Now this is from the other side. And um, now the basic positions to move into are, Straight down on the sacrum, straight down on the rib cage, maybe straight down on the lumbar, and then sideways. Now the sideways is either I'm facing her head sideways, or facing her feet if I turn the other way. So this is just leaning and rolling. So we lean, roll, sit, basically. So this is leaning and rolling. The other way I could do this would be facing her feet. Same thing. However, here I'm approaching a slightly different approach, which is the neck shoulder approach. Can be done best with the head this way to this one here. Turn the head the other way, we can do it the other way. The other way, um, which makes more sense when people are face up, is below the arm, either facing the feet or facing the head. Here's below the arm, facing the feet. And rolling this way, or this way, all the way down to belly, onto the sacrum. Belly is one of your tools. It's a very soft tool, it's a cupping tool. Um, and here's again facing the head and rolling um, in any way that feels good to you. The one above the arm goes like this. Again, facing above the arm, facing the head. or above the arm, facing your feet. Oops, sorry. Now, have you ever put your feet, hand in their crack by accident or you bump, bump, bang into their breasts or genitals, just say you're sorry, check in. We don't mean it. We didn't mean to do that particularly. It's kind of a aspect of the improvisational nature for the top person, just feeling around to see what feels right and what good. And your arms are kind of like feelers for feeling what's, what's there and where you're at. So this is basically the simple lean, sit, and roll. The deepest, deepest work would be sitting. Now, if you're a, a, a tiny person and you don't have a lot of weight, and your person is a big person and needs lots of weight, you can sit on their chest, but that's, quite deep work, depending on the weight of the people. For sitting on the sacrum, can I sit in your sacrum and try it? Second here. You sit on a way in a way that you can you can release the pressure at any time in case they don't like it. So if you're a guy, you ask, "Is your penis below your pubic bone?" <laughs> and you say yes, and then you're good to go. Um, oh, wait, let me adjust it. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're good now. Okay, and now what I'm doing with my sits bones is I'm feeling for her sacrum. Now I weigh 175, and you're not too small, so you should be able to take some weight. And I'm doing very slowly here until I feel like I'm positioned on her sacrum where I want to be. You can tell me what feels good to you. Does it feel right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the fumbly part. Um, I'm fumbling with my sits bones on her sacrum, looking for the place that feels right. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, you're moving a bit. Mm -hmm. All right. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. Does that pressure go okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want more or less? It's good. Okay, just stay there. Okay, I'm gonna just sit here a bit, okay? Okay, that's like right on my edge. Okay. It's good though, but yeah. Okay, on your edge. Okay, you want, again, tell me anytime you want more or less. Okay. More or less? It's great, it's like that. Okay. So this is it. We're doing the deepest work you can do with a human body, with your own body. The most dense part of their body being expanded by all of your body's weight, just sitting there, doing nothing, balancing, hanging out, talking. And okay, so when your pelvis feels like it's had enough, tell me, I'm gonna go a little higher. I feel it especially on the, on the left side, but I don't feel it as much on the right side. I'm a little off balance because I'm using one leg to, um, where's your pelvis? That padding of her sacrum is a mapping of it, basically, and just feel a feeling of where the yeah. bone is. How does this feel? Yeah, that's a good spot. Settle in a bit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hmm. Okay, now here I can go rock to the right. Let's yeah, that's really good. Oh, no, let's, do, let's get more symmetrical here. Now I can go backwards. Falling off more towards the tailbone. They might like that more. Or they might like higher. I can go to the right. Mm, yeah. Go to the left. Let's just sit here a bit. Anybody have any questions or anything? Again, I'm uh, constantly adjusting to see my body to feel what it feels is right. And your body should adjust any time. Tell me anything at any time because things change. They don't just stay the same. I can feel both of your, my sits bones right on either side of your sacrum. Mm-hmm, so right on my edge. Okay. Sacrum feels like it's had enough. It'll tell you. Can you push into the right side a little more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Good. It's somehow going more into the left side, but. Mm -hmm. Bring both legs up. Let me grab them. Yeah, good. Okay, one of the cool things you can do here, and I'm gonna go fast now, but I'm not gonna give you your full time unless you want me to just sit here for a while. Okay. What you can do, you can put your legs down. You can sit on them. That's a good like anti-driving. Like I feel like that like reverses like the sitting, you know, way that our sit bones like uh -huh. kind of. So basically, I can twirl 360 degrees sitting on her pelvis anywhere. I'm not doing it sideways. You can do it this way. Yeah, that's good. That way feels more, more kind of better, actually. Uh-huh, okay. So you just play around until it feels the best you can get it. That feels nice to me, too. Mm -hmm. Here's a little trick. 
as if you, um, does that feel okay? So right in my head, so yeah. I'll, I'll take off some pressure, but you, know, you can uh, grab their legs and have them give, yeah, and then you can do this stuff. Messes, messes with the, the muscles of the pelvis and the legs and things change when you work with the legs like this. Tell me when. That's good. She, she, she keep doing it or you done? Uh, um, I could take a little more, but it's like, yeah, no, no more pressure. Okay. Yeah. I like the legs. Can we try it slower, like moving around? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Whoa. Still okay? Mm -hmm. Give me a little more pressure. Rocking around, just giving your little differences, because you never know what might be better or worse. I like go a little further down. Yeah. Now she's getting traction in her lumbar, especially more because I'm more lower on, I'm lower on the um, on the sacrum. That's cool. I like that kind of like hot potato thing. <laughs> And once you get this done to you and you've seen it, you pretty much can do it to all your friends and family almost right away. So Calypso, now that she's had this experience, she's gonna think, hey, I could do this with my friends. They'd love this. <laughs> it spreads. It spreads through the community. It's like instant core work for the planet. Real easy. You know, a little bit of uh, safety with the injury issue and the sexual issue, and then you're home free. As long as you have good communication, you know, she's going to scream if it hurts, right? Mm -hmm. So you're being expanded now. Your hip joints, sacral, ilial joints. By the way, does anybody know, are, is the ilium and ischium two different separate bones? I think they are, aren't they? Tim, do you know? I, what was the question? Is the ilium and ischium two separate bones? Uh, I mean, aren't they held together with a little bit of cartilage? In other words, it's, they, they are two separate bones, right? I always think of the sitz bones as being part of the sacrum, but the, the ilium, but they're not. <laughs> anyway, all these joints, the ilial ischial, ilial ischial joint, the ilial sacral, sacral ilial joint is being expanded, um, and the lumbar is being, um, getting some traction. Can you move down just a little? Mm -hmm. Look, so are you feeling that in your quads and hamstrings both, or? Is that good? Mostly just in my sacrum or whatever. A little bit hot potatoes in. So the, oh yeah, that was feeling like it was like kind of like awakening. Like the sort of like fascia and nerve pathways or something. Was it, did I go where you wanted me to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I'm tempted to try something I haven't done before, but I don't want to give you too much weight. It's always something new to do. You know? <laughs> Does that feel okay? So you get a feeling of whether you like it there or maybe yeah. a different place more. I like the rocking around and I just kind of keep moving like continuing to the down. Down is good? Still 
little too much weight. Isn't that too, too much weight? Did I, is that too much weight when I switch like that? Oh, no. Okay. You want to keep the legs up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, going down further. That's good. Now I'm kind of almost slipping down your tailbone with my, my tailbone is like right next to yours. Keep on with it? Um, probably, it's probably, probably pretty... Close to done? Yeah. Okay, let your feet down. <clears throat> I kind of feel like if you were to slide like down, all the way down. Okay, I'll do that. This is just another thing you can do, is lay back on the person. <clears throat> and I'm gonna slip down now, okay? Yeah, it's almost like... Yeah. Just like something that way. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying this. This feels pretty good. Um, she's not too shy, so I can sit on her butt. And now I'm just sort of transitioning off. So we could, if you were a super big, dense person, we could sit on your um, rib cage. But we're not going to do that with you. So that's about it. Simple, profound, easy. Well, should we sit? Should we set up for the sideways? Yes.